13 Moscow, Moscow World Championship also. as well. So she was the champion there. So uh, she has all the uh, reputation, you know, going into this particular event. But Blessing has got her reputation as well. So yeah. She's won, you know, she's medaled in this particular event before. And uh, so it, it shouldn't really come as a, as a, as a, as a, as a surprise if we expect her to actually go on and do the same thing mm -hmm. uh, in London. Also medal. And we're, we're not just looking at the fact that she's going to qualify because I know she's going to qualify from this. <laughs> you but really? then this no. season, it hasn't really been good. She has nah. jumped seven meters before, but this season, her best is 6.77 6. 6. 7. 7 meters. So that's not really too cold. Mm. But she knows she has she to jump improved. more than this or yeah. jump exactly like this and hoping all that. No, just jump seven. If you jump that seven, you, you, you just take care and just see yeah. what's going to happen to other athletes. All of them start struggling to get to where you want to get them. But she's mm. competing in Group B. I think her group, there's not much contest in that. Knowing that is about three athletes there. Or rather, just two athletes that have jumped that seven meters barrier. And that's talking about... Uh, perennial champion Brittany Reese Brittany, yeah. and herself too they jumped seven meters but in SA Brumens group okay the seven meters baby there are many yeah there are many. so, so many. all the best uh, to uh, both um, SA Brumens and uh, Blessing Okagwari uh, in today's uh, events we're still in London now uh, we're not going away just yet uh, uh, they, Way Van Nikek, the South African uh, yesterday lived up to the billing lived up to all the expectations by retaining his uh, 400 meters title it was a very easy easy win uh for wade van nikek and this guy right here uh for me has to be the next superstar when it comes to track and field yep he is already the superstar do you know why you're saying the next superstar yeah, I mean, after because, the using both okay, is done, using yeah, both is done right guy, now so yeah. you just need a face and the face you're having yeah, right now be. is van nikek okay we'll yeah. see if he can keep up with that he we'll got see. that race in 43.98 seconds oh, okay. that wasn't his best but yeah, then okay but then it was just easy also we have we had a babora sportsakova of the czech republic regaining the javelin world title she won 10 years ago now he's the first one you won 10 years ago, you come back <laughs> to regain it. That's a remarkable achievement. Yeah. That shows staying power and longevity right there. So shout out to uh, to that champion there. And uh, we also have other uh, athletes uh, participating uh, yesterday. American uh, Sam Kendrick um, capped his outstanding season by winning the pole vault event uh, with a clearance of 5.95 meters. Uh, that was in there. This was a surprise win yeah. uh, in the 800 meters. Um, Frenchman Pierre Ambrose won yeah. that one in 44.67 uh, seconds. This is Sam Kendricks I was talking about earlier, uh, winning the pole vote uh, event uh, with a clearance of 5.95 uh, meters. So, um, Cecilia, all these guys are having fun. That's, that's what it's yeah. about. When you win, fun. it's a lot more uh, sweeter than when you don't win. And we're watching the Stipple Chase uh, event right now. Day. And <laughs> surprise, surprise, Kenya's Concellus. Uh, Kiprutu continued his dominance of the 3,000 meters steeple chase uh, with a courageous and confident victory uh, just weeks after recovering uh, from our ankle, ankle injury. injury. So, the spectacular. Kenya okay, uh, really doing well uh, at the minute. I mean, uh, yeah, but we're not surprised. No, of course um, we know their pedigree yeah. when it comes to yep. uh, track and field, especially the long uh, distance events. Yeah, we we're talking about uh, uh, Kiprutu, yeah. our silver medalist in Beijing two years so, ago. Olympic champion last year, so, so it's, it's just an easy one. Yeah, so easy. eight minutes, Expected. fourteen point twelve seconds, Expected. and that was it. He did it in style, convincingly, courageously, and that was it. But oh, I okay. felt maybe okay. Now, uh, Vanek has yeah, been talking we'll about talk the, 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 the main issue of the day, which was actually the fact that uh, the guy. Yeah, 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 but let's, let's not let's not let's not <laughs> take anything away from, from Van Nikke, First okay. of all, he had a superb race, and um, uh, who knows. What would have happened if uh, Makwala actually competed in that race? But we're going to come to that later on. But hey, we have to talk about the guy, the champion himself. himself. He's been uh, reacting. On, <laughs> I can imagine he's a very delighted guy this morning. Yep. Yes, he's definitely happy. Let's listen to him now. I knew it was going to be a quality race. Uh, at the same time, uh, it was quite freezing. Uh, I struggled to get myself warmed up and, 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 and ready. I think for about 200 meters, I was... I was doubting my momentum and I think last 150 meters I tried uh, putting in an extra gear but uh, I just couldn't catch my, my stride until about the last few meters and I, 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 I don't know, unconsciously looked up to the screen and I noticed how, how far ahead I was and, and immediately I thought of my health 
and, and, and realizing that I still have another two more rounds tomorrow to run. And I thought, if, if the times aren't going to come, there's no use for me to push it all the way to, to my limits. You know, yeah. I mean, he didn't want to push to the limits. I understand why he had to run 43. Because this is a guy, what, a sub 40? Yeah, I mean, did you really expect? <laughs> I didn't go into that particular okay. event thinking and expecting Van Eke to, to get a world, world record, record no, again. He's, I mean, he's looking at race, the 200 meters. That race of last year, that was a one-off. I mean, that was a total... <laughs> you can't do that twice consecutively. Look, I, don't, I don't see it happening. I mean, he, if he should do that... 4-3, okay. I know, four, three, I know oh, three. what I'll be calling. Ridiculous stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's not talk about <laughs> the controversy, you know, that actually yeah. happened before this particular race. And where Van Eke uh, was supposed to go up against them, um, he's close this challenger, according to a lot of people, a lot of pundits, uh, and as a Makwala uh, from Botswana, yeah. but yeah. it wasn't meant to be because uh, he was withdrawn now uh, because of illness. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah, he wasn't really feeling too cool, but they feel okay, you know, well, we'll have to remove for 48 hours, stay away from other athletes yeah, and all that. Quarantine, right? Yeah, quarantine, that's right. Okay, let's listen to Vanike reacting to it. I, I just know he's ill and he's obviously in a different hotel than what I am in. So it, it, it is quite disappointing. Um, I would love him to, to, to have his fair opportunity. He was in great, great form. Uh, I, I believe that he would have done very, very well this, this championships. And um, like, like I said earlier, I've got so much sim sympathy for him. I really wish that I could even give him my medal, to be honest with you. But um, this is sports. These things happen. And, and each and every one of us need to go out there and, and fight for opportun opportunities. It could have been any one of us. And any one of us could have lost out on that opportunity. But uh, it's, it's sports. It's a journey. It's life. Uh, we all have disappointments. We all have um, tough times. But you just need to get back up and fight harder. Yeah, sympathizing with him there. Maybe that Zonda guy that would have given him a very, very tough time because this season he's the third fastest. Correct. So we don't have the third fastest, just have the fastest this year. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel the race was not really that competitive. But then disturbing news from the uh, Botswana uh, Athletics Federation, the Olympic boss talking yeah. about uh, Falcom Sedimo. He said it was actually disturbing for them not to have allowed him to race. But IWF is coming to say that, look, the reason that happened is that they just it's wanted to control issue. a virus. So it's they didn't want it to issue. spread. Go for a break now. We'll come back with it in tennis.